Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through, please, for my dearest Virgos. And I just wanted to say, and I know I've been saying it a lot in your videos, but Virgos, you show up for me in such a big way on this channel. I cannot thank you enough. I love you so much. I love my Virgos out there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on here, Virgo, between you and this person. All right, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Virgos, we might be overthinking something here. Remember, overthinking is a source of unhappiness. And I know, and I say we, because many of you already know I'm a Virgo rising, but we definitely have a tendency to overthink, okay? It's a big source of unhappiness, so just be aware of it. You're viewing your person as the magician, possibly another Virgo or someone with Virgo or Gemini in their chart. This person has all the tools you need. Ooh, Gemini energy. And you see the relationship as divine with the lover's card. Very passionate, very sexy. But there's something here that's making you a little nervous, okay? Your person, they've made some sort of decision, maybe a decision to reach out. They might have been holding back. They're not going to. Ooh, Virgo, they're viewing you as the Empress energy in reverse. Now, I want you to be careful here because obviously she can be my third well, like she's my third party card right but i'm not really well it could be i mean it really could be this person has made a decision between you and someone else but mostly i'm getting that virgo if you're like in an indecisive or over analysis paralysis type energy this person might be like seeing you as like not wanting them or not wanting long term or any sort of commitment with them but they want it with you. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. And for some of you, this person might be involved with somebody else, but they want you, Virgo. Wow. What have you done to this person? Look at this. The passion and attraction is there. Um, we see the Queen of Pentacles, but it does feel like there's some energy coming in between you. Now, maybe it's a lack of finances or a lack of resources. Maybe you're feeling that way. Maybe they are. Um, it could certainly be a third party though, okay? Which doesn't always have to be a romantic rival, but um, it could be. It could also be, you know, like if you two come from different cultures or I'm getting like religious backgrounds or traditions or beliefs, um, you know, or like they could have a, you know, it could be a mother-in-law who doesn't approve or friends and family or something. Uh, Virgo, this person's been quiet for a while, but that's going to change. They're going to reach out and communicate. We have the death card. A lot of you, maybe you thought this was over or they did. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. Um, but I feel this person wants to transform this connection, whatever's going on here. Now, they might be waiting to hear from you, Virgo, to see how you're feeling. Page of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you're nervous you're or maybe not nervous but you're like not so sure about moving forward communicating um and we get the star card beautiful virgo so it looks like um i feel like you want to heal things with this person this aquarius energy tells me that you are quite independent um but it, there's also a loyal energy here and with the star card it's like i think your wish fulfillment is to get on the same page with this person. I, I feel like you're looking for a life partner and you see that this person with the magician energy, they have all the tools that you need. Hmm, but I want to see what it is that's holding my Virgos back. Probably this queen of pentacles in reverse, right? Yeah. See, you see this person as a brilliant success. Maybe you're waiting for them to close out a cycle. Okay. It could be a financial thing. Like, I don't know if they're like, you know, if they're paying off debt or, um, you know, maybe they're working a lot just to like get ahead. Um, maybe some of you, even I'm seeing like, maybe they, they're saving up for a ring for you. Um, and maybe there's been some sort of fight or argument. Maybe they didn't tell you that. Um, but anyway, the world card tells me that it, they might have fixed energy in their chart. Um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. But this person, you see this person as like, 
you want this person to come back around, Virgo. You see them as like a brilliant success as your person. You see the connection as the lover's card. So for some of my Virgos, you already know it's a third party. Like you probably, you know, you, you probably know this person's going through a separation or a divorce or maybe you're waiting for it. That's not going to be for all of you though. For others of you, you just feel like, man, this is my twin flame. This is my soulmate. Um, you might feel like you can't fully trust your intuition here because I do feel like there's part of you that's like all in, let's go, this is my person. And then there's some other parts of you that are like, mm, can I really trust this? Like, am I, am I, am I imagining this? I also feel too, um, you know, with this Pisces cancer energy showing up in reverse, it is important that you're not being too idealistic about this connection. Maybe you felt like you were being idealistic about the connection or about them. And there have been some things that kind of burst that bubble. Okay. Or you're starting to see them a little bit differently, or, you know, you're finding out some sort of truth. Um, but we get, look at all of these major arcanas lined up for you. This is a major, this is something major Virgo. Okay. So your person two of swords in reverse, they're making some sort of decision and they're going to communicate um, you know, this person may be thinking about opening up emotionally. I, I kind of feel Virgo, this person's going to give you the truth about some sort of third party. And for some of you, they're going to tell you like, you know, my friends or a family member doesn't approve or my, you know, I know it sounds kind of weird to be like, oh, my mom doesn't like you, but you know, that can, that can, if they're close to their family and they come from a close knit family, you know, that can be a real issue, right? So, um, they could also tell you too, that they, you know, they may still be dealing with some sort of jealous ex, somebody that they have children with. They're going to open up and tell you the truth here. There's, they see you as their empress, but they also know that you've pulled back your energy. They might be worried that you don't want the same things. Look at that. They see you as the emperor and the empress in reverse. They see you as divine counterparts, but they also know that you can't quite be together. They see you as having it all, Virgo. You see them as having it all as well. They're, I think they're a little bit worried that like you're going to make a decision to like move on or not hold space for them or for the connection. Wow. See, they're seeing you as the emperor and the empress. They recognize this is like a soulmate or twin flame connection as well. That the feelings that they have for you are like unprecedented. That's a weird like, you know, highfalutin word. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> unprecedented feelings. It's also a bit clinical, right? But anyway, maybe... Um, Anyway, the Ten of Pentacles here, they see marriage, commitment, stability with you, um, the Knight of Wands, but interesting, but it's like, there's a lot of passion here, but I feel like they want the Ten of Pentacles with you, Virgo, but there's some obstacles. And maybe they choose to just focus on the passion because I feel like they can't quite be with you. Some of you, it's because they're married. And I think you know that already. Like, I don't think that's like going to be like dropping a bomb on any of my Virgos there. For some of you, they're making a decision to leave this Queen of Cups energy to come towards you. But they're not quite quite ready. They're one foot in and one foot out the door. It's like the, it's like the long game they're playing. Um, let's see the ace of wands and yeah, this person's removing obstacles. This person is fantasizing about you. This person wants to be with you. For some of you, they want children with you. Um, but it's like, they've got to work through some distorted energy. Maybe they also have to resolve other people's feelings about you or this connection. I mean, I know that sounds kind of lame, but you know, again, if they're, if they come from a close knit family, family's important. And, you know, if they want harmony and they don't want any drama for you or for them or for your, you know, future children or whatever it might be, whatever your situation is. So I feel like with the Seven of Cups in reverse here, this person is getting clarity. I do think that there's going to be a new beginning, a fresh start here, but they definitely have to like remove some obstacles or like tell someone off or, you know, finalize the divorce or the separation. Queen of Pentacles in reverse tells me that... Yeah, this connection is blocked because they, they can't give to this connection right now. I just keep getting the same messages here. I do feel with the star card, it's about, you know, um, having hope, not giving up faith. Not giving up hope, having faith. <laughs> Woo! All right. Um, or whatever I just said, you know what I mean? Um, that the connection isn't fully able to move forward because of whatever this obstacle is. And for some of you, it is financial. Okay. 
Um, but I do see some queens showing up here. So it could be like, you know, if this person has like, you know, an ex or they have somebody they're not fully divorced from or they have, you know, a strong bond, it feels with a maternal figure like your, you know, your future mother-in-law is not in agreement or something like that. So there's definitely a blockage here. Um, but I do think that things are going to get moving here with the Four of Swords in reverse and they may very well move towards the Ten of Pentacles regardless because I think this person is an you know, I don't know why I want to say this, but hell bent on coming towards you and healing this connection. You know what I just heard with this five of cups? I can't do this without you, Virgo. They don't want to do this without you. Holy smokes, Virgo. But I mean, I do feel like I, I feel like, you know, there there is some issue here with obstacles, other people getting in the way. Um, and I, I do feel with that Knight of Wands energy in reverse, just make sure that you don't have somebody here that wants their cake and to eat it too. Um, although I, I feel like this person's feelings for you are, are, are borderline overwhelming um, and they do miss you or they want to be with you. They want this Ten of Pentacles with you. There's potential for you two to just have this like powerful connection, relationship. But with the Knight of Wands in reverse, it's like there's still one foot in the door and one foot out. And that might be because they think you are. Okay, Virgo, because I know Virgos can, you know, we can be aloof when we're looking at all the details. You know, we'll shut everybody else out. We'll go into hermit mode, right? And so they might just be thinking like Virgo's over it or Virgo doesn't want me. Um, so let's see. All right. Yeah, they want this relationship to evolve to the next phase. But there's some sort of selfish energy here. And, you know, to be honest, Virgo, I mean, it could be their energy a little bit. Okay, like they could have selfish tendencies. I don't pick up on this person being a total narcissist or anything like that. But I do feel like this person has to deal with somebody who's kind of like, um, oh my gosh, my guides are only giving me a phrase that's really kind of crass that that's got them by the, you know, what, or, you know, that is controlling them. So again, it could be like, um, you know, it could be like, it could be somebody they pay child support or they have children with. It could be somebody that, you know, just has this like major influence over them. I'm kind of getting to like this person, like they have a tendency to really focus on the passion with you, even though they see the 10 of pentacles and they want the 10 of pentacles. And they might just be doing that because they're not ready for commitment or because of this pressure that's like really pulling on them. Really interesting energy here. Your person's kind of being, kind of being pulled in a few different directions here. And of course, maybe that's because of work responsibilities, financial responsibilities as well, because it feels like, yeah, they like focus on the passion. That might be why you're a little bit confused here, Virgo, right? Like, cause you're like, shouldn't we be like, you know, meeting each other's friends and family or like moving in together by now or whatever the next step is. And it's like, they're kind of keeping it like physical. Hmm. Yeah. Don't chase. Okay. I think this person's going to come in and chase you, Virgo. And this person's missing you. They're thinking about you. Um, I, I do feel that they're unsure of the future. I think both of you are right now. There's somebody that they need to push away or there's something that they need to deal with that maybe they've been kind of putting off dealing with. And maybe that's why you've pulled your energy back here, Virgo. And some of my Virgos, you're just avoiding them for now, right? You're just kind of like, okay, like until this changes, you know, I'm going to be doing me. I'm going to be, you know, focused on, you know, on my life. Um, so a few interesting messages coming through here, Virgo. There is love here, though. There's like double ten of pentacles potential here. So this is not something I would give up on just yet. But as you know, and you hear me say like over and over again, like a broken record, I'm not an advocate of putting your life on hold for someone who, who's not available. Now, it does feel like they maybe need to keep things casual or can't give you everything you need right now. See if that works for you, you know, and if it doesn't, you know, remember what you, you know, if you let go of someone or something, um, you know, if it's meant for you, it will come back. It won't pass you by. So yeah, there we go. This is so incredible. I am resolving the opinions, opinions of others who don't feel we are right for one another. It could be like, I feel like it's a strong mother-in-law, maybe friends and family, extended family. Maybe you have different, you know, different beliefs. You showing up here for a reading, you know, tells me you're probably more into the, the spiritual side of things. Um, and they might be like, have a strict religious background that maybe there's disapproval for this kind of stuff. Um, family obligations. Yeah, this person has some has a family commitment here. My commitment to my family takes precedence right now. 
Yeah. And maybe Virgo, you were like, okay, that's clear. Bye. Right. Or I'm going to move in a different direction because, you know, who am I to argue with you? That has hit them hard. But for years, I lived my life according to others' notions of who I should be, but that's ending. See, I think this person's going to kind of like cut some cords here. It doesn't mean that they're going to totally like, you know, tell people off or be estranged from their family, but I think they're standing up for you. I think they're standing up for themselves too, Virgo. Wow. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through. Anything else my Virgos need to know? I think this person's going to surprise you, Virgo. Yeah. Trust your intuition here. You already know the answers you seek. You already know. Okay. And this connection is passionate, but not enduring. This is the energy I'm getting. Um, they may try to keep it this way. They, I think they've been trying to tell themselves this, or they've been trying to keep it this way, but that's not the truth. Okay. And we see go slow. Yeah. Go slow. This person's moving slowly. I think this, I just feel that's confirmation. We get some major confirmations here with these, you know, Oracle cards, you know, there's more to this situation, Virgo, but again, you want to, you want to do what's best for you. And they could, you could feel like they're acting selfishly by not standing up for you in this connection or standing up to like friends and family that are like, you know, we don't think Virgo's right for you, or this is, you know, a good connection or something. Mm. It's really weird. I just heard sod it, right? I'm not British. <laughs> So I don't know if somebody, I don't know if somebody here is or uses that phrase. That's what I heard. I just heard sod it. And I don't even know if that's how you use that phrase. Anyway, um, past life relationship. So some of you, this is a past person. It does feel like they're coming back around. Um, but you definitely have a past life connection here. And we do see that there are some financial challenges. Um, yeah, so it's like family and finances. And again, maybe they have children with someone who's kind of holding them back um, because we do see that they do have some family obligations here. Um, so Virgo's interesting messages, go slow, do what's best for you. Take a look at all the details, trust your intuition there. I feel they've been trying to keep it casual or keep it strictly sexual. I, I definitely feel there's 10 of pentacles vibes here for both of you though. There's a lot of potential. So I'm going to leave it here. Sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.